Hey guys, it's Bang for About PC Gamer here. Nvidia claimed they've developed a driver that can increase DirectX 12 performance by up to 16%. I remember reading this about a week ago on WCCF Tech and I was intrigued. So, you know, I was definitely ready to test this out as soon as they became available. And with the launch of the new GTX 1080 Ti, we get the new driver 378.78. Now this is a driver that's meant to boast DirectX 12 optimization for a increase of variety of titles. So it doesn't exactly tell you exactly what games are going to show an increase. But um, there was some pre-testing done. Um, I'm not too sure exactly the system specs, but you can expect an increase in Gears of War, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Hitman, The Division, and Ashes of the Singularity. I actually own all of these games, but I'm not going to test all of them. I just wanted to do a slight investigation. So I've gone ahead and downloaded these drivers now, and I'm testing them against 378.66. And um, I'll do a direct comparison between the two, so you can see a side-by-side -side comparison, and I'll show you the difference in FPS, which I've taken. And we can see if there is actually an improvement in this driver. So what I'm going to do is start off with Rise of the Tomb Raider. May as well quickly go through the settings as well. So the settings I used were 3840 by 2160, so I did play this at 4K. I did have DirectX 12 enabled. And I'll go to the advanced graphics. Everything's at very high, so maxed out apart from ambient occlusion, which was left at HBO Plus because VXAO doesn't currently work. In DirectX 12. So these are the settings I used. Before I jump into the test, I just want to quickly go through the settings and my system specifications. I'm using two GTX 1080 Founders Editions that have been hybrid cooled, both running with an overclock of 215 MHz plus on the core and 495 extra on the memory. And I'm using an Intel i7 5960X running at 4.4 GHz. Both GTX 1080s are running with full bandwidth and with the addition of a H. B bridge. Also, I'm using um, 32 gigabytes of DDR4 running at 2,666 megahertz in quad channel mode. So those pretty much are the specs that are important. And I'm going to get into the testing now. First off, Rise of the Tomb Raider. So guys, as you can see, not much of a difference between the two drivers when it comes to Rise of the Tomb Raider and DirectX 12. There's a difference of one frames per second between both drivers. But it's not all bad. I actually took the time to test DirectX 11 versus DirectX 12. And you can see there is a quite a noticeable difference between the two drivers and the two different APIs. This wasn't always the case. I did test this earlier. And as you can see, there's a a 10 frames per second difference now so it's good to see that there is actually an improvement so moving on to Ashes of the Singularity now running in DirectX 12 mode I'm just going to quickly go through the settings I'm using a resolution again of 3840 by 2160 multi GPUs are enabled so SLI has been activated. I'm actually using the crazy preset so you can have a quick look at what that is and, and that's pretty much it. So what I did was run the GPU focus benchmark. There is two modes CPU and GPU. As we're testing DirectX 12 on the GPU itself I opted to use the GPU focus mode so let's see how it does with the new driver. As you can see guys, Ashes of the Singularity not really showing a clear increase in performance. It's pretty hard to tell looking at the two sets of, of gameplay going side by side, but when the results did come in, there was an increase of two frames per second with the new driver, so not a great increase, but a small one nonetheless. 
Okay guys, moving on to the division now. I'm just going to quickly go through the settings. I'm using a resolution of 3840 by 2160 with DirectX 12 enabled. I'm actually using the Ultra preset. The only reason why it's gone to custom is because I'm using HBAO Plus for the ambient occlusion method. So I'm basically just using the Ultra preset with just the ambient occlusion being changed. And I'm about to run the bench shot now and see if there's a difference between the old driver and the new driver. Okay guys, so you can see there's a difference in performance between the previous driver and the new optimized DirectX 12 driver. Not a massive difference on the settings I've tested with my setup, but a 3 frames per second difference is definitely welcome. So I'm quite happy about that to see NVIDIA still trying to optimize their drivers and improve their software. That's what all companies should do and should always strive to get the best out of their hardware. So there is a difference depending on the game, I guess. So, you know, maybe some of you guys might want to share your results. And if you've seen a massive improvement, please let me know in the comment section. Um, that's pretty much it for me. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.